going on, gang? Danny Coker here. Thank you for tuning in to the Counts Customs YouTube channel and another episode of Counts Culture. You know, we've been working with Mr. John Heaster. He's got these dealerships back east. Man, cool people. Great team of people, man. They're awesome. He's got 14 different vehicles that they're restoring, 14 different teams. It's a competition. You guys are going to be the deciding vote on which one wins. And I feel like we need to check in with some of the teams and see how things are going. So uh, let's see what's up. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? Pretty good. Doing well, how are you? Good, man. I feel like I'm sitting here looking at three monster gearheads right now. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. It's always good to meet fellow gearheads. We get, we get, give me your guys' names. I'm Watkins. Watkins. I'm um, Josh. Josh. Bob. Bob. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. Which, uh, which one of the Heaster dealerships are you cats with? Uh, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Lillington. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. How's everybody holding up, by the way, during this social distancing and and uh, and uh, quarantine times and things like that? Everybody holding up okay? It's it's difficult not going out and hanging out and being confined to the house. Yeah, I hear you. I want to know what vehicle you guys have, what you're working on, and let's talk a little bit about it. So, what do you guys got? What are you guys working on? We got a '88 Ram Charger that we're bringing back from the old age, putting, putting some new school flair to it. I like that. You said it was 88? Yep. Yes, sir. Cool. Let me take a look at it here. I'm checking it out. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a great body style. That's a great, that's a great looking truck. It already looks pretty nice. Of course, you know, I'm just looking at a picture, so that's, that's tough to tell. So tell me uh, the pros and cons of this truck. What, what kind of shape's it in? What's, what's the good, the bad, the ugly? I mean, it's got a 440 big block in it. That's the good. <laughs> what's uh, what 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 kind of shapes the interior in? What's 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 the deal on it? Seat's a little ragtag. We're ripping that out, and having it reupholstered. Um, it's probably going to go with a vinyl uh, base and then a suede inlay. I'm looking to tie in the door panels with that incorporated. Nice, good, good. Um, Let's see, did we talk about uh, the paint, the, the, the condition of the paint, things like that on it? See, we could have gone one of two ways with this thing. This body was pretty straight. We got authorization the first week, and me and Watkins got a little excited about getting into it and deleted the chrome off the body lines and then ground the nubs down, and now we're kind of locked into filling in the... The, the holes and the body work and whatnot and just to get it straight again then we're going all black so had we had the uh, all the information right off the get-go we may have opted to leave that paint alone and the trim work alone and opted to put the EFI in it um, or the rear disc conversion but this is what we got to work with we're making the best with it and hopefully it gotcha. turns out to be uh, pretty sweet uh, you guys, you guys got nerves of steel, man, to uh, to 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 decide to paint that thing black too, because you know that shows everything. So you guys, you guys, no fear. There's no fear in this team. I like this. I like this. Go big or go home. Yeah, exactly, dude. Great attitude. I like that. Here's what we're gonna do. We got three minutes to answer three questions. At the end of three minutes, my 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 box here. I just disappeared, man. It's over. It's gone. And we'll talk again next time. So let me just tell you now, good luck on everything that you're doing. God bless you guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. And uh, let's get down to some questions. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Three minutes. Let's rock. Let's go. I'll do my best. What's your thoughts on adding AC to a climate like this? We're not going to add it back in because it never had it. But what's your thoughts? I, I'm, I'm, I'm an air conditioned freak. So, so, you know, my personal opinion is I have air conditioning 
in everything. I mean, everything. I've got a, I got in my building over here next door, I got a 1935 Ford Phaeton street rod that doesn't even have windows. And I got air conditioning in it because I like a cool breeze when I go down the road. Of course, I'm living in Vegas where, you know, summertime, it's 112 in the shade. So I got to have air in everything. But it's up to you. I mean, I don't know if you guys, you know, really, really use your air conditioning or much there or not. But my opinion, I put AC in it. I love companies like RestoMod. They're, they do fantastic aftermarket AC setups. They're great, but it's up to you. I, w I would do it, but it's up to you. And it also makes it better resale value as well. But again, my opinion. Next question, two minutes. Actually talking about resale value, uh, adding an EFI system, would that drive up the value or drive down the value? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I, would, I, I, think, I think adding the EFI would definitely drive up the uh, the value on the vehicle, you know, fuel it, it, car, carburetors are fantastic. We we all know we're gearheads, man. I, I I got stuff all over my shop that I got carburetors in, and I got stuff that's got fuel injection. And then once once the fuel injection is set up and it's in and it's proper and it's dialed in and it's learned how to how to run properly, man, it's bulletproof. You know, you 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 can't deny it. So in my opinion, adding EFI to it does drive up the value on the vehicle. Yes. We're good. We're, we got a minute, man. We're, you guys are ahead of the game. We were looking to, uh, we test drove this vehicle and it exhibited a lot of body roll. And when we got into it, we found that it had a three inch body lift that we're looking to eliminate and the big balloon tires on it. We wanted to bump up the wheel size from a 15 to a 20 and a lower profile wheel. In your opinion, you think that's going to end up eliminating a lot of the body roll out of this Dodge? Absolutely. Are you going to, you're going to, you're going to get rid of the three inch lift? Take it, take it back down. We're eliminating the body lift and we're putting a six inch suspension on there. Yeah, I think, I really think stuff like that will help. It will definitely help a hundred percent. And of course, you know, you can, you can do things like add all of your uh, urethane bushings on your sway bars and stuff like that, that really helps stiffen it up as well. So you can, you can eliminate a lot of body roll in that as, as well, but eliminating that lift and adding it in the suspension lift is, is a smarter way to go on it a hundred percent. That's what I would do. I think you're on the right track. I love the truck. I think you guys have got a great plan. There's no rules because you're going custom. Have fun. <laughs> Are we done yet? Oh, God. I have no idea.